Good afternoon, community. This is your host, and we're streaming live. We should be live, um, <laughs> and we're streaming earlier than, than usual. 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 <laughs> well, but we have an important stream to make, and we're making it earlier just to have more strength and energy to fulfill this. But bigger announcements than the campaign. Just go over to... Just read the about channel section or or the channel description section, and you'll read my. And you'll read that I have changed it. I no longer remember what it was before, but it's fine. That is fine because the old man, Anderson, put to death on the cross, so that and we are made new. And right there, you'll be reading, and that I've included the message of salvation of Jesus of Jesus Christ and. In my bio as well, as well mention of Ecclesiastes twelve thirteen. And um, I'm strong, I strongly believe that the rapture will come to fruition soon. This I suspect it to be on October second due to it's yeah. a due to some videos I've watched, great videos, nothing that follows along the logic of, of the Bible and what its date conventions and and all of that. I wish I could link it on. On Twitch, either in chat or uh, or on the bio. Sadly, Twitch does not allow link links to be posted in that manner. Right, but nonetheless, we are live, and we have. Wait, let me make my prayer. And before we make the prayer, I, I want to make it clear to anyone: if you need the message of salvation, feel free to read it right there in the bio. Feel free to reach out during stream, even and. I'll do my best to read read out and respond at the moment that you request to receive the message of salvation. I will guide you for the message of salvation so that you'll be able to receive Jesus Christ and Christ and be able well, to believe that he, he has passed away and, and come back to life of conquering conquering death of him. Of him that you profess that he has done so, and that you believe in, in salvation, you shall be saved. Okay. Let, let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for this afternoon, and thank you, Lord, for the change of spirits that has come to fulfill all my heart. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to have, have the strength and courage, and thank you for letting me hey, profess you. Thank you for giving me that strength to honor you and, and dedicate unto you, you know, what is of yours on stream. Lord, I pray that this be a blessing and an opportunity to reach out to those who have not known you, who have not received you. Let the let people be moved so as to enter the stream and be able to reach out for the message of salvation. Let them, let the contents of this stream, the medieval tutorial war, the Mongol campaign, be be seconds to know your your purpose, Father. There in Ecclesiastes twelve thirteen, you teach that. Anderson. We are to fear and fulfill the commandments. This is the duty of man. And Lord Father, let me fulfill you right here, right now on this stream. And let this be an opportunity to reach out to those who have not received you. Lord, let this be a blessing. Let this be an opportunity. Let this be the means by by some are able to receive and cleave on to you. Father, thank you for all and everything. Be a blessing unto us and guide us and open in our eyes so that we witness the wisdom. The prophecy to fulfill into your miracles and, and all the things you have set out and promised to fulfill. Lord, thank you for it. In my, my life, to I leave on your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. And here's that second point seconds to the purpose of Christ. We're going to be, we'll be making reforms in our, in our campaign strategies. We are in year 200 terms of it. Of campaigning, only a third way of through completion. If, if I remember correctly, we are at either 24 or 26 settlements out of 65. We still have not defeated the Hungarians, the Polish, or the Egyptians. And but this has been custom. I'll be showing the parallel campaign, the campaign I've been playing on at private time, so that we can, so I can test our strategies to. To implement on the main campaign, which is this, that, which is the second stream. Oh, hey, hey, hello, Hokogo. Welcome to stream. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to visit and feel free to stay. Hey, 
But if you hey, and if and if you need to hear the message of salvation, feel free to ask in chat, and I'll do my best to reach out and listen out and and respond. I'll dedicate those moments and moments to respond and to be able to get you into salvation. But nonetheless, welcome, welcome, welcome. So, so right now we'll. I'm just showing the parallel campaign we're holding. We're playing. We're playing two different campaigns. One, which is the streaming campaign, and the second is the parallel. The parallel is just something that's, that I'm programming in the background just to test strategies and it's an implement different tactics so, so that we have them ready for the main campaign, which I'm about to show. I just want to show like, how our expansion has been. Sadly, Antioch is dealing with a little bit of rebellion, but but that's a little bit okay. We're working on that as well. We might begin in this, an initiative against against Egypt or or the Kingdom of Jerusalem, but we'll be seeing that in time. But this is something we need to pick up on as title. Oh, really appreciate this one, Classic. Such a good game. Yeah, Plenty is a good game. I especially love playing the mods. They just add lots of variety that it's difficult to achieve on the base game. Um, I wish that I wish that Twitch um saved your VODs for a very long time. And I believe that some of the major channels do get to save their VODs long term, but I just wish it was like a feature for every channel. Just like on YouTube really. Everything is just saved up up for you to access at any moment. But like in a former campaign I played Rohan. I played that for nearly three hundred turns. Until to the point where Mordor just got the ring, then there was nothing we could do to push back against them. No matter how much we raised, they always had an army. <laughs> but nonetheless, we're going to redeem ourselves in doing this Mongol campaign. So we're... And this is for the Vanilla Kingdom's mod. So it is modded. It is It is beyond what we usually... It's beyond of the base game. If you see, I'm just going to do this to, so that we all see that see the what I mean so base game you don't have the Teutonic game. you don't have Lithuania you don't have the Teutonic you don't have Novgorod these are these factions are from the Teutonic campaign they go south towards the Jerusalem we see their kingdom Jerusalem formerly there used to be a kingdom of Antioch that I devastated that so no need to worry those are from those two factions are from Crusades. Then over here we have Wales, we have Ireland. These two were added from from the other DLC, DLC Britain. So essentially, oh, there's also Norway. So the Vanilla Kingdoms mod just adds all the factions from the various DLC and makes them playable in one campaign. So yes, the map is expanded to include some of those provinces that you see in those mods. Like Oslo, you know, from well, no need. If you're familiar with DLC, no need to imagine that. But as you see, it adds some some of those provinces. Yes. But again, this is the parallel campaign. All I just wanted to show was that oh, even here we're starting to slow down. So there's a need for military reform and needing to change strategies. But well, let us note the the main campaign. And then implement all of this. Yes. So, we are doing much better in the main campaign, but we are very far out. Again, nearly 100 turns in, 89. We're oh, a little bit less, less than half of the way in terms of expansion. Luckily, have good promises, but we're dealing with morale, part and stability. Stability issues, morale, and, need, and the need to recruit vast armies. So, just to keep this, just to keep stability. Actively, uh, we're at war with two major factions. Two of them bordering right each other. A failed attack on Trastar, and that cost us the loss of, of a great deal of units across two armies. <laughs> And we're looking to prepare a new new army for initiative onto Hungary and well just to complete the campaign. And 
that's what I'm looking to fulfill on this stream. I would like us to get together to reform our strategies and tactics like that we can finish the campaign much much sooner. Uh, let's get, yeah, let's repair the games. Thank goodness we're making some 200, but recruitment time for our best units is very slow. Yeah, <laughs> it'll take some time, but we'll get there soon at some point. Um, oh boy. Well, I might be pursuing. It's scary. It's plenty scary. But I need to know where my Cav army has gone to. <sighs> oh! Let's do that. So right now, just recruiting units to replace the cavalry we've lost, and hopefully to pick up a new initiative and in another front, and see if uh, for the proceeds of those conquests, how we can use them for all these other conquests. <laughs> oh boy! Sadly, very behind. All right. But tell me, how are things going for you? Nisea? We have lots of cav right there. 100% stability. Yeah, let's just recruit some infantry to replace the cav. Mm, that's why I'm delayed. Alright. We need to recruit some infantry just to send up more. Nope, there goes our entire budget. <laughs> oh, well, next turn, but if there's any input you would like to make about improve about military reform, feel free to make it. We need, we need to make as many changes necessary so as to improve the fluidity of the campaign. If there's an opportunity in the future to restart the campaign. I'll, I would like to be glad to. Oh, but on terms that is before October 30, the end. And with the reform tactics. Oh. Oh, well. I think I scared out the viewer. But pardon me, Kobo. Oh, well. Nonetheless, we are, we are still here to fulfill that goal. Sadly, Denmark is constantly losing, like, at the assault of Alpha of Riga. And. Well, yeah, Poland is going after me. They need to play a more defensive war. Definitely will. It's not in May, it's definitely. Yeah, they have other armies moving. Moving about. All right, not the, not the thing I would have liked to witness, but let's see how their condition is and see if we can and counteract them. So I've raised a couple more units of Vilnius just to complicate the situation for the Poles. Besides from that, like not sure what, what we could have done. Uh, oh boy. Captain Georgi? Let's see now. I'm sorry, man. Two units of missile. This is going to be an easy battle. Our heavy horse archers are, are better off than theirs. And just, just with the quantity, we can, ex can expect like, a great deal of losses on their side. Once we take that general, we'll be able to fend off this army. Sadly, not all of them, but but it's the beginning. Mm. Yeah, medieval two is like a really fun game. A lot of replayability that that I don't see even in auto 
other replayable games. I love Resident Evil. I used to love Resident Evil because of its replayability. Particularly the Ford's game on OG. Yeah, particularly the Ford's game on OG, but nonetheless, I was like, this is one of the best experiences one can have if replayability is their main concern. Not, not if it's, let me rephrase that, not that it's their main concern, but, but there's lots of opportunity to explore here that I just don't see present in other games. So it's, it's, well, that's my main point. Alright, let's see if the calf will continue pushing. Eat the enemy calf to separate from the infantry. From there we can make the assault. There's lots of planes over here. The land is elevated, but it's still planes. If we use this, we can tear up their, inf their forces. We we'll like to separate the enemy calf just to just to have the opportunity of devastating that separate from the infantry. Oh boy. You know what? Let's send these two to harass them. From there, it should cause them to engage and we'll attract them to the main battle. We're running that six times just to guarantee that we have the opportunity of bringing them into contention. Oh, they're shooting back. We lost a guy right there. Yeah, quickly. Let's do that. Let's do that, yeah. No. The cavalry is still separate. No, it's still attached to their infantry. So let's have this unit off to the flank and see what we can do with it. We need to tear up those missiles and their general unit as fast as we can. Hungarian nobles. I did not notice that they were a bow unit. The Tursina and Polish nobles are javelin units, and I was thinking that all. Oh, their cap is along those lines. You know, another thing we can do is just destabilize the infantry. Okay. Like, force them to waste their stamina. Come on, gentlemen. You are soldiers of the Great Khan. You are here to fulfill that out of his purpose. All right. These two units, let's withdraw them. All right, good. We scared off the enemy missile. They're steady and impetuous. Come on, infant. Come on, horsies. Oh boy, 20 to 22, that's, that's not good. How about this? Alt. Yeah, hit them. Hit them hard. Oh, maybe that wasn't the best tactic. They're shaken. Oh boy. Losing a great deal of missile. Oh boy. <laughs> Come on. Come on, gentlemen. We've lost a great deal of calf in this. Uh, separate. Yeah, their units are still doing very well. Let's see if this... Come 
want to like break them as soon as we can. But where's the where's the enemy general? Oh, but we might actually lose this army. We lost far more than they have. Yes, we definitely need to change the course of battle. They're down to 19 in death. Yeah, but they have about 40 horsemen. Among, that, among one of them is the general. And that general we need to wipe out. We need to wipe, that, wipe out that general as soon as we can. Or we may need to rely on a tactic to decimate the infantry. Feudal foot knights, feudal foot knights. Come on. Come on, Cav. I'm sending you in with your swords just to decimate that general. Come on, gentlemen. Need your victory. Yeah. Can't. Why did you continue wasting that. the infantry stamina? Sadly, we're already. Yeah, sadly, the horses are already tired. But we need to do something about. about the enemy the infantry. Wipe out those nobles. Mm -hmm. How about you know that that worked out well right here? Let's send all all of you guys in again. My part, the general, and from there we just we can break the rest of their units. Come on, attack! Br defeat the general. Yeah, that is the general. Why are you guys all the way behind here? You guys are a missile cav. Oh, we're already heavy. Very tired. You're 353. You guys are very behind. Ah, <sighs> lost too much of my missile. We'll... We'll have to take a back... Hold back from the Hungarian campaign to see, see how we can address the Polish. Mm, this formation. Yeah, send them against this unit of foot knights. Go. These crowds should be. Yeah, they should be seeking. Ah! This, this unit is wavering, that, but that unit broke. Come on, withdraw and yeah, break them up. Continue. Go in. Ah, so much missile has been lost. This one, we need to reform our military. We cannot afford spending a thousand. Spending a thousand per unit just to see that the majority of the un unit is devastated before the third battle. No. How much is this? 46. 46% 46 lost.
Um, by the way, who is Pahiamon? Pahiamon. Execute. Hungary is pushing down for Constantinople. So let's take both of these contingents up north and see if they can respond to to Polish presence. It might we might be dealing with a situation against Rue. Um, Alright, the whole Germans are negotiating with the Poles. And see what their circumstance is. If it's let's try to learn if their war is if they're paying off the Poles to to, to fulfill this campaign. Regardless, we are here to to fight the Poles. Oh boy, some stability coming from religious unrest. Turncoat army? Well, he has a price and it would appear we have underestimated. This general and the men that follow him have sworn fealty into a new master. Exchange for an undisclosed amount of coin. First time I have I've dealt with this for a long time. By sentiments. Siege out the Salonica. Yeah, we can do that. Finances drop significantly. Yeah, with the siege of Vilnius and no oh, pardon Vladimir. Oh boy, just look at the situation. I hope so. Cannot afford them to make a mockery of us. Uh, what sort of unit would they have? We'll just get that out. Uh, you ask? That's good, that's good. Sally did not recruit like a significant amount of companion cav. Do you please? Sweet. Usul. Um. Smyrna. Lavatunes, they're really good units. Sadly, they haven't, fa haven't been very... F I haven't been that effective with them and... And siege and, and siege battle, so we'll be ret restrained from doing that. Poland on Lim on Mongols, Scotland on Ireland. Antioch, thank you for calling me the most advanced. Yeah, this is going to be an easy battle for them. Barely have anything, barely have anything, anything uh, defendable. <sighs> Yo, how about this? No, too risky to... Order. 
might with the Streltsy right there might be too risky. What's the reach of these? You know, let's. Well, yeah, let's, yeah, let's do that. Next turn, which, you know, we can combine these two. And then if we would draw, we draw these two next turn, and alongside this one, so they can be retrained, we'll have enough. We should have enough space. Let's see now. These two with this one. Small desk. Well, this is the opportunity to prove. This is the opportunity to prove military reform. We have a great deal of archers here that we can use. It's in the front line. Now we need them. Prompts of his golf. Wait. Five of them will not reach. Vladimir. But what we can do is recruit more Cav and have them come over to Vilnius on the following turn. See, I will My concern is why are they not assaulting Thorn? Unless, unless that Polak army right there is making the push. Oh boy. I've been very behind on recruiting units on this front. So we'll need to find a way to make Dorn hold out against possibly two different armies. Don't know as to the extent. Oh boy. Not to town militia. So the Poles are not at the strength that in which I have previously assumed. Nonetheless, it's a step that Need to make. I will see you brought to justice in an honest battle. Clock is wide open. Give a couple of turns, we can send a small owl tree army. Alright. I don't want to do this to, to Rome, but. Uh, Room is not one of my targets, so there is no need for it. 10,000 recruitment, that's how weird I am. Uh, let's place this unit up. They won't be able to. Do we have a flea? Just, let's just place this one unit. Side of the province. I would like to have as much infantry as we can just to just to have it ready to defend. How about that tile? We'll make it easier. Um if I put this in front then we could so it should be able to spawn inside, right? Let's say, uh, instead of one more unit, not in reach. Yeah, they won't be able to reach this turn. Let's let them siege and then sally out.
just to recruit sub infantry. Right? That general will be covering for Smolensk. I still don't understand as to how Sicily got their general the way up worked. But that's on them, right? Uh, we'll need to do something to hold back. They only have one ladder. But the problem is that they have a lot of cavalry that can withstand the the spears that I hold. It's a good chance we're gonna lose a general in this. It's he's a really good commander. Ship and Sotka. We don't deal with cheats on on the main campaign, so we'll just battle it straightforward. We shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ship be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. Wow. First time I had battle in the in one of my own settlements. Quite generally. Oh, I chose the lucky unit. If we can burn down the the ram um, and tear down that unit of militia, then we will be we would have an easy campaign. <gasps> oh my town militia, town militia. We'll actually be able to defend. We'll burn down that ram and we'll be good. Uh, Sally, we cannot select it. Sally, we cannot select a tower to attack the, the ram. It would be amazing if we could have. Alright. Oh boy. Yeah, ladders. Do we see that? This is where unit factors would have been done well. Yeah. No, I'm asking you guys to reform like this. They're, they're gonna break through soon. Infantry. They're losing guys faster than I am, but... We'll have to see. Like my units are scattered across the wall, and they're they're balancing out that that discrepancy. Ninety one to seventy five. Uh, we're literally gonna do our best to hold them back right here. There's nothing else we can do. Holy! Do the Mongols really have that? <laughs> I know they brought this from the Aztecs campaign, but holy, is this really the Mongol settlement? No way. Vanilla Kingdoms gave us more than vanilla. They gave us flavor. <laughs> 82 to 56. I need these units to be devastated. How do they own the walls? Hmm. 
Yeah, comes in. Here comes in the swarm of cavalry. The militia, now that it's embedded there on the wall, is having an easier time of of defending their approach. Wait, where's the? There's the Polish. Get that. You know, if we're gonna try at this. If we're gonna try at this. We're gonna get at the general's bodyguard. Come on. Victory seems certain. 58 to 46. We're doing amazing just with these two units of spear. But if we can tear up that general, we can... Wait. Oh. They did not even send up the spear, man. There's the nobles. There's the woods, man. But where's that general? Yes, I was about to call him stinky. Uh, but yeah, we lost. I believe this guy's name is Hongate of the Uru Uruot. We've officially lost the wall. So, with just these two pieces of lobby spears, we managed to wipe out 60% of their, their contingent. Yeah, now it's time for these guys to fend off the spearmen. Why is it the nobles that chase? Dang it, we can't climb the tower. Shoot, <laughs> this is an amazing mod. <sighs> but dang it, why couldn't we conquer the enemy tower? Wow. The enemy general. Sadly. And now they're sending in the spears. Our militia will not hold on, hold on that long. Shoot! Even with a couple pieces of levy spears, there's some supports. We, we would have been able to defend. Shoot! And I was full aware of the of them attacking us. Their plan to attack. Oh, this is Kochi of the Ongo. Either way, so we lost a great general. Three seventy five to three fourteen of the enemy. The settlement will be easy to capture. And because they hold me cavalry matured. Majority of their force right there is cavalry. So we will be able to force them to sally out if we just send it send in a couple of pieces of calf. Problem is yes, yeah, that army. The rebels would only hold them down slightly. And nothing besides that. Hey! Literally, my border was removed. No. I didn't deal with the rebels just like that, and the poles can be slowed down. Dang it. They were only slowed down by a turn. All right, they will see Jack Constantinople. Just need need to wear down their armies, and from there we can have an easy expansion. Poland should have eight pro part in six provinces at least. Hungary another eight. If somehow we can expand to all of them. Oh boy! If somehow we can conquer all fourteen this stream, that will put us in in a favor in a favorable position. And later on that. But nonetheless, we need to disable as many of their armies and take as much of their land. 
Poland being the softer of the two set of the two factions will needs to be answered before before Hungary and Byzantine are answered. Because if we take hu Hungary in, in place of the in place of Byzantine or or Poland, then we'll be sandwiched between two enemies and have exhausted on. Well, we'll be sandwiched with very exhausted units. That's really all I can say about about this initiative. We'll need to remove as many un enemy generals as we can. And, and from there, assault the cities. Yeah, by Santa wants their city back. Damn. Your forces melt away. Captain Koshila. They hold some infantry, but there shouldn't. These five are being sent back over here. Let's see now. We all see what do we get? Double piece of. Oh. One Night Lancer and one Horse Archer. <gasps> I should have not close that. You know, you go in and see if you can get retrained. Mm. Disadvantageous position. If we try to hold down the town square, there's very little we can do. Kiev is more defensible. Weren't you guys able to reach? Alright. But nonetheless, this is the... Yeah, let's recruit those two from the Citadel. And have them push on Vladimir. Mm. Yeah, just what I was going to comment. Considerable contingent here. Let's get rid of the rebels while we have the opportunity. <sighs> so. I'd like to begin an initiative with Egypt as soon as we can. Like, just take Damascus and force them to send their armies up north. No, oh, but the enemy units are going to be on the, t on the hill, are not? Just watch as it's. Just watch as it's the wrong, wrong thing. Go wash out those, uh, these brigands. Based on the type of shield, these are my, my spear militia. Withdraw, withdraw! Damn. Mm. 
No, we don't need to send the the lancers. We just need to continue to learn them away. Okay, never mind. Yup, your baboons, get out of there. The baboons got stuck. Oh my, we lost one guy. <laughs> In a battle where we shouldn't have lost a single unit. Why are you guys? No! The mission was just to missile them. No way! You guys are supposed to missile them. Continue. How do we lose so many? We lost so many. Well, either way, they're going south. I have to join the rest of the camp. Well, that's a respectable amount of time. Uh, wait, what are you not to at home? You know, this infantry will help. Would not have. You know. So we need to recruit a team for Narva, we can we can easily devastate them. Forward to fight. Well, if you're looking forward to if my units are looking forward to fighting them, might as well make that a reality. Let's get these five units in there. Can see succeeded. What is this? A spy. With my little eyes, I see a. Only Jerusalem and Denmark are connected. Expected that. Is this assault? Oh, this is the Khan. Well, since trying to push back against Emmerich. Because they have. The, their nobles are comparable. A little bit below, but they're comparable. So we'll have to be careful with the assaults. Yeah, we need to break that cavalry as soon as we can. In our favor? Well, we hold far more missile than they do. If we can break that general unit very early on, the rest can be easily run over. And we'll, and we'll spend time destroying each and single one of them. They're not going to be soon there. Uh... 
แคบตึงคือบรรไดอ well, they have right here are their infantry. Would like to target their missile, their cab, I mean. But where is it? Further out on this flank. They're already set on the hill. Five of you will just come on here for flank and maneuvers. Have to have that cavalry ready to swarm them. Focus on the Magyars. Where are you guys? Not up here. Oh well, that's a good opportunity to send you guys on a flanking mission. Let's go, gentlemen. Oh, that's why. They still aren't formed up. Mm -hmm. Two to six. Get those feudal foot knights. Wish this unit. You know. Yeah, swallow them up. What's going on with you guys? Yeah, help them break those hussars. There's the feudal knights. What are these guys are in melee somehow? The Magyars are broken. There, target those hussars. Yeah, move you over here. We need the heavy missile over here. Yeah. Come on over here. Oh, they're running down? That means they should be somewhere that's... The twelve of you need to get this hussar. Come on. Oh my. This unit, where are you? Yeah, get at the Hungarian nobles. 8 to 38, that's looking good. Was hoping less casualties. The general fled the battle. 
Yeah, break that spear militia. They're going to cost us a lot of, lot of cavalry if they get to do what they want. All right, I'm going to station you guys like this. Come on over. Get the Pavi spears. All right, Khan, withdraw. Come on. Forget about that sword stance. The whole reason why I put you guys there was just to contend the, the enemy presence. Between us and victory. These nobles. Alright, we'll rook. Well, we the Sultan. Cannot afford him just yet. Afford to lose him just. Yeah. There. Where are you? Whoops. Never thought that they had a units over here. Eighty five? I don't trust that ratio. Oh yeah, they're cavalry, they're fleeing. Too much of the too many of their units have fled. But with these reinforcing cav we should be able to replenish our numbers and Start making that push that we need. <gasps> Can you guys hear anything? I don't know if I still have no clue as to what I've exactly done, but. Drop the volume greatly. <laughs> the con has lost significantly. Don't let them. Ah. Uh. You know, that actually works. That actually works. Um, right, I've been messing around with alt S and alt double. Not sure if that's... I know it affected the sound sound volume. That's a certainty, but the concern is how do I rebound it? F1 is there. We'll have to execute. A new camp has been sacked. It's fine. Let's look for anything with alt. Alt S. There. So, so we just need to do the once. Not that. Ah, uh, yatta. Yatta, 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 yatta. Where are you for now? Uh, any chance we can recruit another spy down here? 
spy. What's the penalty here? One fifteen. The governor himself is thirty. Lost from five. You know, we'll need to leave the con. We will need to leave the con just to ensure the well-being of the people. Uh, we'll need to take these units with us. Sadly, Missile doesn't upgrade, but... Didn't get an upgrade at all. What am I talking about? Wait a minute. 7-7? Seven, seven? Ah, it's their melee that gets upgraded. Sadly, we don't have a general, and if we lose these guys from from recruitment ish, from loyalty issues, then we lose the, then we lose our entire army. All right, that's resolved. Now we're still collecting horsemen. Yeah, plant a watchtower. Does... Alright, we'll stick, we'll stick to just this general over here. This? I oh, know, we should have stuck this general in here. Because this general is good for a conquest. Oh, the governor is 30% of the stability. A lot of spear infantry right here. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, I did not know we could recruit a Tessari. But financially, we need to restrain ourselves. Now we need to. Find a means of answering the Hungor Hungarians. <laughs> Hungarians. They're officially Hungarians. Yeah, we can. S Croissant. Six pieces of cav. I'm barely holding the infantry. Oof. Yeah, let's have these two wings can combine it and send them backwards towards Halic. I want to lose them to to this Polish contingent. Yeah, numerically they surpass us, but if we devast devastate that unit of nobles, we can get rid of the the rest of their military. Control us. Can save. Fight them. Sound effect them. Alright, have increased the volume. Oh, 
a lot of light cavalry. This is an uphill battle, so we'll need to send the missile infantry first. It's a very thin line of infantry spears. Uh, we'll have to traverse more if we go over, if we deploy over here. But because it's more level with this positioning, it will be better off for us. Or we can do this. This can help. This will allow us to separate the the cavalry from the infantry. Stick down. Stick them over there, you. Yeah. All right, now we can focus on these guys. Yeah, you gonna need these guys on the flanking maneuver. All right, most of their cafe stations over here. <sighs> you know what? You guys can withdraw. Uh, where's? Yeah, let's withdraw over here. Come on, just, just light them up. There's Chivalric Knights, Magyars. How about the three of you? I sent you over on this flank. And then the five of you can continue doing this up front. How are you guys in melee? Chivalric Knights down to 54. Mm -hmm. Go in. The missile cap has arrived. You know, we're gonna fight them. We're c I'm gonna break them. There's the Hungarian nobles. Light them up. What? Well, After infantry is moving over here. There it goes. Just the victory we needed. Now time to not to now time to slam on the enemy. The enemy slime. There's the spear militia. Position you guys like that. We probably don't need this many archers on this flank, but it's time to, it's time to make them work. Yeah, just continue swinging into to their infantry. Yeah, just continue. Come on, break that piece of town militia. Continue rolling into them. Uh, 
Alright. Where's the mouth? Is that the goal? These just need to get to crushing the the ranks. They're at 64. Yeah. Oh! Look at the outcome. 67%. Oh. Uh, I'm going like that. This one hold a great deal of missile. If you guys are stationed right here, it must mean that you guys can still do something. Yeah, get the... Get the enemy's peasantry like that. Oh boy, this might be an easier campaign than anticipated. It says 89, but I don't trust that. Yeah, with all, with all the units still left on the beat on the field, it's better if we continue pursuing as many of their units as we can. That's, you know, there's higher prospects targeting this one. Uh, a couple units right there. 21 to 97. But I'm assuming recoveries will allow us to get a couple of units back. Small amounts? Not full on units, but a small amount of guys. Yeah. Second time I had to fight back for a province, I believe. Don't remember which is the first. Two seventy six loss, that's nineteen. 1662 kill, 1662 lost by the enemy, half of them are captive. Holy, we captured more than we we have killed. Among other evils which being unarmed brings you, cause you to be despised. Execute. Yeah. I trusted this. Just, just plant the watchtower. A lot of generals in there. Uh, these, the light lancers will hold the, the gates just because of the, just because of the generals. But hopefully there isn't that much infantry that the enemy can work with. Mm -hmm. Combine these two, start swinging them over, over to the west. But aside from that, I don't see anything that I can do. They're still pursuing the salt. <laughs> I could see saying Sultan just because I'm familiar with Egypt, but this is the Khan we're talking about.
Now, oh boy, what's going on with the stability? Is it a religious? Religious is a small percentage, but should still be a sufficient amount. That's a thorn. Luckily, we have a catapult and a ballista. Lots. <sighs> we might need to rely on this at a town square. Defensive six, nine, twelve, and then with the plenty of archers, we might we might be able to make this work. But we need to start swinging to Poland and taking what they call home as our lands. I'll take a while to recruit an assassin. Hey, there's some fur. Um, next third marks where we begin the initiative. Um, no. Very low financially, we cannot afford any construction. I would like to hold that in reserve just for more units if need be. They say has grown a little bit. All right, they understand that they're not welcome. I recognize that the front with Hungary is much more expensive and exhaustive, but we'll need to make this push to, to remove Poland. Made the mistake of letting them take Vladimir, now we'll need to, now we'll need to take this out of their hands. Oh boy. Here's the thing, those two pieces of infantry, that couple of infantry that, that's what those, what, what those missile cap right now were supposed to be sent over to Yossi. They would have definitely lightened up the, the burden. Yeah, another, another Hungarian detachment. Either we let them join to continue that sortie at Yasi or Atiax No 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 no. It dropped by two K. What oh Deceitful reputation. Well look at all their enemies. I'm at war with the last and I'm already collapsing. But what's going on in Antioch so as to have lost all that finance? If Rune begins an initiative, we'll, I will need to counter. Has Poland played their turn? This seems like the perfect opportunity for them to take the Fleece, Yerevan, 
all of those provinces. And it will be like the perfect opportunity for me to expand. <laughs> for us to expand, I should say. <sighs> They're all taking shots at this at the con. I just don't know what what else can be done before before we lose the lose them from all this. Yeah, they're making the counter. Is it really alright to make a push on Narva? No negative. Let's increase the population growth. Eight hundred goes to corruption, religious and political unrest. Just what happened? One thousand Florence. That's good. Just three ladders. Hey, look at that. We might be able to take this element without, without that much effort. Smolensk, 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 Smolensk. You know, it's this infantry. Let's see now. Five units, including general, double polished noble. I don't have. We don't have all the. Uh, last seven. That that one was. That's what we could have done for that other battle. <laughs> you know, send them down. Question is how far can these five? Well, they have to punish units. Problem is that they might actually be better. Yeah. How much comes from the garrison? 40. Uh, you wouldn't mind, would you? Just that's how to build it. The army can reach over there. The bad position. Let's have them more immediately push for for Halich. Right? Get 
cannot let them have this assault that they want. Pulk should have rifle. Not as many heavy horse archers that we we could have wanted, but we need to make this out. It's the problem is that they also have these generals. Prince Tibber. Alright. You know what? Because we have all this infantry missile, we might be able to make this assault pa possible. I don't want the defenders. Yeah. Let's make this possible. Alright. Narva might fall in with it next turn. And then we're leaving Yasi. We'll leave the infantry behind just to defend it. And then from there we'll... And from there we'll take the... We'll take the cab. It might even come beneficial. Let's see now. I don't like that. But that is the line, right? You guys. You guys need to be in that formation, whatever it's called right here. Oh! You guys, yeah, I need you guys to come and assist me. Where the old cavalry is over here. Just, just have a seat those nobles. Yeah. Tear down those nobles. I did not notice they had a unit of nobles. Feudals. Yeah. Yeah, let's push the spearman over there. <gasps> what happened with you guys? Get, the, get out the hussars. Just these two units. Shoot at their flanks. Oh my, they have the other general over there. What's this unit? <sighs> How about... This is the one with the dread. Why are we targeting them? Yeah, 
Those fools cannot stand against us. <laughs> Lost all the light lancers. What's going on with you? Oh my. Top. Self possession. Listen. Spear militia. Well, you already committed on this front. Yeah, continue getting at those nobles. Promise, what are we going to do about their infantry? Don't fire it well. Need you guys to devastate their... Your general. And of course you get hit. About we need to s we need to save those archers somehow. Where are you guys? We still have their contingents have moved over there. Come on, let's let's not lose the general. Oh, but, but we'll need to do something to recover the cavalry. Well, if you guys are not going to be involved in the battle. Oops. Oh, my spear's broke. Yeah, let's see if we can remove that channel from field. Oh my, those three are still holding on. Let's push you guys on the enemy flank. Damn. Yeah. Contend with that general. Lost a great deal of defenders. Whoa, 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 whoa. There, that's better. Four three combined four of combined forces, seventy four percent of of the enemy. Oh boy. Yeah. 
Yeah, two of you focus on feudal. <gasps> Dismounted. And then, like, the general's like moving back, back and forth. We still have to eliminate that general. Why are you guys slow? Come on, wipe them out, wipe them out. Don't, don't even... Don't even move. This is the perfect opportunity to get at him. Get him! Hey, the plan was not for you to to get stabbed to death. Enemy channels fallen, Prince Stubber. We need to break those puppy spears. Just break that one channel and we can do something. Maybe Channel can hold on very long. They're still eager. And of <gasps> I did not think we'll be cooking though. But where's the other general? That's the question. Have they fled? Oh, we got both of them. 70 captives, 63% combined losses. Wow. Yeah, a lot of units are rally. Our warriors have driven off the enemy. Mm -hmm. It's a costly victory, but one that we need it. But let's hope that the Polish general can con can, can commit their army to Thorn so that we can devastate in defense and just begin pushing for their cities. Execute. This this settlement is just a turn away. See you then. Not the first time I hear that. Hey, look at that. Good question, what's there? Missile of sex. Hold them in reserve. Our enemies weak. We are to ask. The contest of today is short. We rest here until you know. The mount that was lost right here. Alright, we'll be leaving these guys to reinforce. Wow.
You know, they might not risk it because of the extra units I have there. Captain Yeltemur. No! Shoot. Was relying on them to begin an initiative against Egypt. Or right, forget about Egypt. We'll just leave. Leave that front as is. And we'll begin on mapping out Poland. Cossack of the Tartars. Yeah, I need to pull that little cap out of there as soon as we can. Mm. So I'm turning until we can get some more light lancers. Uh -huh. I'm more concerned about the woodsmen. Yeah, woodsmen and Halberd militia. Yeah. Need to recover that settlement. <gasps> no, 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 no. Shoot. By the same time, I might push on, on Constantinople. Antioch is low on funds. Don't know what else. It's going south, but we need to make that push. But how are all of you doing? Hey, that's pretty good. If that's a piece of cavalry, they might alleviate the settlement. Casimirs. Those three plus the Sotkas. Honestly, I don't want to risk it. We'll wait to have green. We'll wait to have reinforcing cav and then we'll. Or this might be the push that we need. Or if we're adjacent to this reinforcing unit. Captain Skexbound, there's Casimir's. Someone else will be able to do this as effectively, but I, on the other hand, will require just a little bit more maneuvering. So we'll withdraw from, from this contingent and push them and push them to the reinforcements. From there, we'll have a united push on the enemy and. Oh no. Yeah. The rest is just... It's just some regular horse archers. This is gonna be a tough battle. Yeah, they bring crazy. They bring crazy powerful units. Oh, there's the Polish Normans.
How about, how about we flank them over here, where their cavalry is, and have to, and have the heavy archers harass them on there. Yeah, have them harass them on their, on their, on their infantry line. Get the Polish nobles. What Polish nobles? The concern is with these guys now. Whoops. The general is further behind the line. Yeah. Imperial Foot Knights. Any chance I can get off to the target of nobles? Oh my, this is going to be tough. Track it those Wow. The reinforcing nobles have just arrived. Oh my We're suffering, we're suffering losses. This unit's still stuck down there. Why these units? Let's see if they can cause that unit to break. Oh. Is this working or to shake in that certain? This unit? Who could you be? 8 to 26. This won't be a slow battle. Yeah. Let's encamp the three of you over here. Don't 
The goal was to have you guys by the enemy's cab. See if we can get that organized. Both the generals are over there. So we'll need to see if we can do something about it. You guys, get out of there. This other unit? Yeah, I've lost. Yeah, something in. They're gonna last this for a while. Or my general cannot cannot suffer to the hit. Let's withdraw them and see what we can do with this. Where are you? Not running. The other general is down there. All right. Slaughter his army, huh? Some more durable cab. Not a flight cab. Half. Oh, what of the contention? Whoops. There isn't going to be much at besides this, right? Six thirty eight to one one forty five. We'll need to see what the, what that consists. Wait, we only lost one thirty five? Mm -hmm. No. I couldn't have lost one thirty five. 
should have been a much more significant contention. So I was in. We'll have to see. <sighs> if we can defeat that army at Thorn, then we should be able to push them back. Yeah, because Poland's Eastern Front has just dissolved. They're trying to retain Halic and Vilnius. Hey, look at that contingent up north. Right outside. To figure out what happened, Montia. Cannot let that economy to to despair. Adrianople, Thessalonica, Athens. There isn't that much the Byzantine homes. So it's a matter of breaking the Hungarian and Polish lines and from there being able to swarm into the three nations. I saw the, the heretic and I thought it was in there. Yeah, we need more generals. Forces conquered. Great minds have found new ways to make light of some of the heaviest work. Sandwood has always been slow work for even the strongest laborers. But cunning engineers have found a way to drive a great saw capable of planning and planing and tearing log by using water. That's amazing. Holy Roman Empire replaced us. King of Denmark, Censors. Oh well, don't mind if I get a penny. Oh, a penny. Twenty three hundred. What's going on at Antioch? Embezzlement? Devastation. Is it the foreign merchants? Literally? I'm just trying to imagine what it could be that's hitting us financially. Oh. Yeah, let's assault and check the walls. Let's see how many of them we can take out by Archer and how much we have to rely on the infantry. But it's not Titus to honor men, but men that honor Titus. Not to. Oh, this is one of those castles. Whoops, the nine ten on bringing them over to my side. You know, let's see now. Yeah, best placement for my archers would be on either side of this tower. Let's not worry about the about the horse archers first until 
And so we need a backup plan. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the plan. So mother's still for us. Hold back. It's hit. Need to take the walls. Need to plant my archers. Wait, how many missiles have I already spent? Oh my, just putting them at fire at will just spent a great deal of my missiles. We need more archers. Significant. I cannot let you guys get off the wall. Well, that small amount of missile would have killed a couple more horsemen. That's definitely. And if we had one of those starter archer units, we might have taken some more. Or by now. But this is what logistics and strategy does. Wow. Mm -hmm. We should have gotten a whole other unit. Oh well. This is what we're gonna do. Just gonna sack you guys over here. Yeah, we're just gonna force all our spearmen right there. We're gonna capture it by this little savvy tactic of forcing them right on the border and getting the count on the start. You clowns! I forced you to form up. Just like that, gentlemen. Just like that. <laughs> Man. I would have preferred having him shot down, but if he wants to surrender castle like that without putting up a fight, then I'm glad. Holy! Look how this looks! Just look how this formation looks. Wow. Yeah, wow, wow, wow. Just look, look at how this looks. I know that we had the spear militia behind them, but this looks amazing. Wow. One minute left on the clock. But still, it's insane how they, they look in this form. Set up like this. You know, how does this, how, the, how does the enemy general look at them? Where is the guy even? Alright, so peripheral. Alright. No, he, the guy doesn't even see them. I'm trying to line up the camera with the general. Yeah, the general doesn't see them, so they're not even his peripheral. He has so much faith on these two to look down the flank that he's will he's not even bothering to look at their face, sis. Wow. Wow. Congratulations. The enemy has a general that has faith in their own people. Wow. Sadly, it's no longer his. I recognize them as mine.
without someone. A lot of Polish nobles in there. Oh boy, look at this. Deplenish units of... of heavy archers. <gasps> so that's how much I've lost. Wow. Three of you cannot stand up to all these Polish nobles. Much less a general. So it's six. With the, with the additional infantry, that's... We might require seven of our own horses. That makes five. The concern is the general himself. I said, simply cannot tell if they'll be, we'll be able to manage them. Quite, I quite simply cannot tell. Six, if it was just all of these guys without the general, I'm comfortable with it. Problem is with the general, we would have spent so much of our ammo to the point where we couldn't afflict them. And now there's the situation down south here. Then they have these reinforcements. Where's good for the biscuit? Let's take one more unit. There you go. Polish nobles, the general, Yasi, Constantinople, Novgorod, Vilnius, Nicaea. Did I? I did recruit a piece of levy. Or not that scroll, this one. Ah. Wow, ten percent is low. Sophia has a really good defense. Uh Valsamon Manaulatoy uh, Again the concern is the calf uh, But because they have these spikes It might take a little bit more to Break the infantry But we'll see We will see honestly What sort of What sort of missile? Vardariote They're formidable Sword of Mercenary Knights. Let's see just how much of their... And let's just see how much of their units we can sink. Sink and as to when we can break the cavalry. Or delightful to those who have had no experience of it. Sadly is the case. Sadly. Uh, let's see, if I break this... Okay, there. Mm -hmm. Have to light it. Uh, 
Uh, let's see if what will happen if we let them slam into us. Or we can save ourselves a little bit of complication and just do this. Whoa. Yeah, the four of you just focus on those Bartariotes. All late. We've lost a couple and just one of their volleys. Yeah, some mercenary knights, axemen. They're still not being hurt that much. Yeah, help. Help break down the, the swordsmen. Spear militia. Guard archers. Alright. So far it's going according to their plans. There, not ours. Now well, just continue shooting at those, those mercs. Town militias. <sighs> we just need to figure out what to do with those, the cavalry. Yeah. Whoops. We're shaking. They've lost a significant amount of their contingent. Those swordsmen are gonna last for a while. Where even is their general? It's this unit? Man, now I'll tell you. You know what? I want the two of you to focus over here. No. The sturdy units come on over like this. Oh my, the mercenary knights have pushed us all the way over here. Oh, 3 to 34? This is exactly the type of ratios that we're looking at. Looking for as the Mongols. Town militia. And of course, they touch my mail. Oh my, I need to make sure that, that my archers actually hit them. Forty. Mercenary, mercenary, not that. Those are channel issue. Oh, what's going on with you? Fine. Help them over here. They're formidable somehow. Just destroy that general and we can can collapse the rest of their army. Well, frame rates are being affected, not sure as to how. You know what? You guys are better off handling with enemy infantry, let's send you guys over here. Yeah. Yeah, this is the general. Where are you? Well, if they insist on sending their archers against mine, might as well. Oh boy. You get over here. Uh, 
Oh no. Alright, we'll have to send the two of two of them the long ways. Clancy. Uh, go after them and I'll watch it. Uh, Scott Ice. What's going on with you, bud? Well, there goes the last one. Oh. Set him with the old woman where he belongs. <laughs> That's interesting. So, my channel is over here. What are they facing down? Yeah, we're all cleaned up duty now. <sighs> Problem is these guys. Conservatories. Then there's this other two. Are they fleeing? They're withdrawing. Or what's these contingents to the south? Yeah, just continue working on them. I'm surprised that they're not doing anything more to break to break out. Ten percent to eighty two. Uh, I have no clue what that sound was. Yeah. Yeah. No. Last time to you. That looks good. Thank you, by Santa. Soon I'll be recruiting some infantry armies to take the saddle. Thank you for your gifts. Thanks you. Ross? What's going on with you? Why is finance so bad? What bricks? What breaks corruption? 12 grand is going to corruption alone. That's one quarter of my finance. <gasps> they have a crazy amount of armies over here. We're gonna have a either a bocce defense or a miraculous defense. Oh my! Oh, I forgot we had these units. Ah, uh, sit you guys on. Yeah, you guys can be reinforcement. Why not? Like... Really. General versus general. 7700. Why isn't his bodyguard recovery? 
And that's that's one detail that makes me a bit uncomfortable. Nothing gone and and Valkos. Did I? Ah, oh, it's over here. Next turn. I think we'll just do this one more turn, just to see what to do. Sadly, we didn't get much done about military reformation. But the goal is... If we play defensive war, then we're just building forts. And there's this quote that that says that a nation that has given up in, builds or forts and and doesn't charge out of them. And that looks to be the state of my, of our nation, our Mongolian Empire. We're in. We're just building armies, building up settlements, but we're not. Putting the initiative against the enemy. We're at no turn ninety three, and we're not. Or we're not, a, and we're not at the top of the world in the sense that, that we can protect every single front. We are scattered and very divided. We just lost units at, into rebel. We had units to search, or to the rebels. We had. We had several losses uh, against Hungary at Trastar. There's a lot that we need, that needs to be fixed here. Will Constantinople re re reconstitute itself? Nice. Let's see the situation. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See a pan Puska. Then with the reinforcing units, this is a bolt general. Then again, they have to dread. All right, we'll fight. Let's see if this is how we get these two settlements in. Nothing no good ever comes to violence. That is correct. Come on. Yeah, fly like the wind, my friends. Yeah, this is my settlement. <laughs> Still feels weird looking at an Aztec based new city. Is this how all my. S no. Not all. Not all my settlements are gonna look Aztec, but. It's still like really funny to look at. The concern should be to break down the enemy cavalry. But we'll have to see. We'll see. Yeah, they have the Aztec in, in pyramids and all. Ah, this, the incoming cavalry just needs to be there. Be there or be square. <gasps> no, you get your butt over here. Do something like that. It. If that unit can open fire, it means that there's an enemy unit nearby. Or at least they were close enough. It's going to take a while to get their cavalry to march. <gasps> the general's already here. Hmm. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble! But let's see if we can break down Vilnius, take a leech. No, pardon, if we can... Uh, Alright, these are the nobles. Let's wait for them to... <gasps> wait, we're cavalry! We can just continue moving around the map. Let's move! Gentlemen of the Khan, move ye, move ye. Oh. 
Let's drop the... Yeah, just continue moving, gentlemen. Polish nobles, Polish, Polish... Strelsi. Yeah, let's take you guys back here. Thing is, the enemy general is sitting over there with the, with the infantry. <laughs> Holy, what's going on with you? All right. Yeah, just break them apart. <gasps> oh my! That's, oh my! Oh my! Frame rates is have dropped. Is this enough or? No, I'm losing far more. Time to withdraw them and figure out what to do. Wow. Well, we have one responsibility. Get out! <laughs> we still have. We're still horsemen. 5 to 16, I don't like that, but we're dealing with nobles right there. So we should respect the fact that they can do something. Sadly, they're gonna. Their so called something will be on the tomb soon. Yeah, I get those. Get them. Yeah, withdraw, 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 Jan. Come on, wipe out that general. You have one career, Joyce. Gentlemen. You know, you don't... Uh, I seriously, I generally want to return to... to campaigning this Rohan. The original horse faction for me. Yeah, get at get at the Strelsi. The enemy infantry is all the way over there. Yo, yo, baboons! The general was not supposed to live. Or our plan B. Light lancers, move your horses in there. Uh huh. No. Going in there. Yeah. Beggars. They're broken. It's just one of them. Let's go, gentlemen. Yeah, let's do that. Just for the sake of it. Break the crossbow. Break the spears. Break the spears, I commanded. Continue. Mm -hmm. 16%. Uh, that's not a resource that I respect, but sure. You know, you can have... Yeah, go practice. <gasps> yeah. No! No! Get him! Yeah. I lost 148. Can you guys borrow me back 200? Oh wow. Cities of War and I go up like it's elders. There goes my province, thank you. 
It doesn't make a thousand anymore. It makes seven hundred. All right, they're gonna. They will be pushing north to see if they can reclaim Vladimir. Huh. We're getting back our stability. Problem is, we need to re, re, we need to rebuild Antioch's financial prowess. No, no, no. <gasps> of course, they're going to Vivar now. So we only get one province in this stream. Wow. France is helping them. Now I see why they're deceitful. Excuse me. Oh, of course, you're going to continue. Oh, at least, at least this was, it was fun while it lasted. They have four provinces. All right, that's four that we need to take. Not sure how, but we'll try. <laughs> they, have, they do not know how much they find me fighting them. Yeah, at least there's a witch to burn. There's two! Lots of heretics. Alright. What? Didn't I see what? Didn't I see a witch? Or at least we burned one of her friends. Wait, wasn't this a witch? <laughs> oh my, the Imperials are witches. Don't question. Mm, either I retrain this unit, or I sack it, just so we can have some spears. Don't, don't mind if I do. Problem is we cannot retrain those hobbies cross. Yeah, sadly we cannot retrain the hobbies. Portugal against Milan? Damn. Castle ready to upgrade to please. Back to being the toughest. 82% of Ireland's finance. Those are cogs, the my DAOs will not last that long. If I don't Should we take this should we make the assault this turn? I'm I'm very interested in making the assault. Do I need to rebuild the no, they left my nomadic camp. Phew. But they broke down the masjid. How dare they. Wait, no, there was another witch in this province. Trade rights. Can you possibly give me a region? Navarre Alliance 
map information. Oh my, three of the most manifest of things, and that's very demanding. Um, well, 3,000 suffice. But then that means the French might be serious. Uh, you know what, better? How about this? Just your map information. Uh, they're very meager in their finance. So let's see if we can just get a little gift. Whoosh. Whoosh. All right, how about a little gift? 3600 total. No, I need the map information. Five hundred regular tributes. One hundred for ten cents. Two hundred. No, we will not accept such a thing. All right, your offers. Yeah. We only got a hundred florins. Oh my. I don't I don't like the way that this is going. But if France is gonna do things to my people, then I'll do this. I'll bring the good faith towards them. Ah, that's how Wow. Can I tell if they're trying to do something? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Captain Lasak. We'll try to make this as fast as possible. And then perhaps end stream. Yeah. Each stream is going to be slower than the previous. That's a fact. That general that's outside of Varna will focus on, on on the following stream. Yeah, well, let's just do this. A corridor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna make a corridor. You can send. Ah, no, no. Where do they think they can shoot me? Oh, look at them. Damn, those Polish nobles are falling. Yeah, seems so. Oh my. The abuse that these two are getting. Should I be focusing on these corridor tactics and see if this still work in the future? Not that we're heading stream that. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm looking to implement as many strategies as we can. That's what I would like to express. Uh, no. Get them. Get them. Uh, we'll try your bows. Alright, do this for me. Thank you, gentlemen. Surprisingly, still. Oh man. Oh man.
Mm. Yeah, don't worry about the why, I'm here. Ah, uh, turn upwards! Definitely sending you for in. Uh, we need to combine some units and then we can make this worth it. There. Don't like the fact that we're missing so many of our heavy horse archers. 67.50 out of wages. But this is the end of the stream. As promised, that will be the last battle. I was hoping for the polls to to have come out come out and give us a leech. Thank you. Thank you for returning Vladimir out to us, but I would like a leech, you know. Because well we have an army here at Siege and not Halid. Huh? Captain Lesek of Rebels versus Poland. Well, I guess we can send this by southward over here. You can, come on. And you might come on fast. Also over here. Yeah, just organizing the spice a little bit and then. Then we'll figure it out. Why do I hold all of these levy spears? Alright. Ah, we'll wait a couple of. Good question. 35 to 60. Where did they go? Did they just return to the fields and decide to send us produce? It's an honorable thing to think about your people. That's Cook of Georgia. Thank you. So he'll be in charge of the each Egyptian campaign. Nineteen ninety four. We don't normally trade with the enemy. Well, well, well. Normally I don't welcome in, in people taking my money either. But it seems as if we both have have a job to do. And I'll take yours. Oh hey, I have I had calf right here. <laughs> I had calf right here. Wait, we can... Let, let us get doubled down, just so that we can start exploring the enemy's land. Because we need to make this push towards Byzantium. Hungary shouldn't have that much in military left, right? Let's see, now here's Hungary. The Poles, the Byzantine. Oh, I could see forgetting Poland is this like weird blue line, weird blue color, I should say. So it's like all oh, difficult to see. Hungary has been losing a great deal of soldiers. Byzantine is recovering. Poland has recovered a little bit, but. But soon they won't have any of this. All production wise, we dropped significantly well back. Uh, this is going to show that we've lost the promise for a short while, but but after a couple of turns, this will be out of the map. We have not been over thirty six thousand. We have not been over that amount. Holla, 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 holla. We have less than 400,000 people. No way that we only have less than 400,000. N-O-W-A-Y. No way. 
if if I said it in Spanish, I'll be cussing people out. All right, so don't even ask me to say it in Spanish. Again, need to start putting as much of this cavalry in the front lines. Perhaps cav cavalry doesn't give that much support as we thought. You see this? Six units have I pulled out. And it went from 85 to 75. Out of curiosity, let's see how much this... One Spear of Infantry does 5%. How much is 2? Oh. But still, Spear does... takes a lot more garrison. Only... Come on over to build me. So we don't have that much spear to defend with. Yeah, they're in striking distance of Vilnius. Excuse me. To defend this, we'll require some of those guys. And that's the end of story. Thank you everyone for the opportunity to play. Thank you. Thank you for hopping on the stream. I would like to make a quick prayer and end the stream. Hope all of you got to enjoy the enjoy the gameplay, and hopefully in the next in the next one we can just begin taking settlement after settlement. But thank you everyone, one for the time and opportunity. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord Father, for this afternoon, and thank you for the opportunity to be here live, Lord. Thank you for the encouragement you give us. Thank you for the strength that you know. You place within us. Thank you. Thank you overall for all that you gave us to testify and to and profess your name. Let's thank you for your goodness. And I pray that this be a blessing unto all who are willing to watch, accompany us, and, and be with us, O oh Lord. Help us and guide us in wisdom. And let us rejoice and let us find you. For those who are not saved, Lord Father, I pray that you plant seeds uh, in them. And my faith and let them sprout and be able to receive you. I am strong I am of strong opinion that you will fulfill your promise soon. Even even though Jesus Christ said that not, a, not even he knows when but you will fulfill on the end prophecies of Antonis Lord. Lord I will not deny it. There's there are many signs that have been fulfilled, many parts of the prophecy that are unfolding. Lord, please bless us and be with us, guide us and accompany us. Help us to get closer on to you, Lord. Lord. And let us meet you before it is too late. Thank you, Lord, for all, all your goodness. And thank you for everything. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you, everyone. This has been your host. Take care. Have fun. Well, we will be campaigning on the next stream. Bye. Bye at first. Yeah, let's first save that, and now we can say bye. Bye-bye. Take care, everyone.